Hello, Hello there. there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party. We've got our first trailer for Maxine from A24, the third film in the X trilogy. We've actually never seen Pearl, Mm-mm. but I think this is a continuation from Maxine from the first X film. Which we have seen. We saw we it have. in theaters. We <laughs> did. Uh, and Pearl, we wanted to check it out. And every time we were going to do a reaction to it, it lost to other horror films uh, on the poll. Yes. So I'm sure we'll get to it eventually, but not sure what we'll need to know from Pearl going into this one. Right. If it's anything like X, then there might be some boobs. You like this booby? And, <laughs> <laughs> and blood. And blood. <laughs> and we're looking forward to both. But either way, check out some of the other reactions we have going on the channel we got a reaction to the finale of invincible season two and then of course we're still going through the bad batch season three as well as x-men 97 but let's get into the first trailer for maxine now so maxine your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment is that correct curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? I always wanted to be famous. <laughs> if you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. Good oh. She turns to the camera and through her trauma, hey. addresses the lens directly. 1985. Nice. Five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and Maxine fucking Minx. Yeah. Girl. <laughs> I don't like walking out here with that freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Oh, oh shit. Night Stalker. It's terrorizing Los Angeles. Okay. I can handle Richard myself. Ramirez, huh? So said every third girl in Hollywood. Look at Halsey. <laughs> Maxine, I'm the private detective. I had to find you. My employer is a very Western powerful Western Bonaventure. Captain Bacon. Bacon. Oh, Bacon. okay, they're on the Universal line. Lot, yeah. Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. Bobby Cannavale. Dang. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? If I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? Oh! <laughs> this is the defining role of your career. What was going on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I intend to. There you go. Maxine! 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 Maxine. <laughs> You're a fucking movie star. Yeah, <laughs> Look at that. Hell of a cast. Hell of a cast. Mm. Okay. So perfect. I like it. Well done. Good trailer. Yeah. It doesn't really show you much of what's going on, but no. I mean, it's got that 80s feel. Yeah, I, I love, love the aesthetic of it very much. So. Very gritty. Right. And the fact that it's like, you know, she's going to be a movie star, horror movie in the 80s. Like I th- and I think what helps too is the fact that like we go to Mondo Monday right. and there's a lot of those like B type horror movies that right. we're watching a lot, so it gives that feel to it, which I enjoy. Yeah, local theater in town, the loft. They do a thing every Monday called Mondo Monday where they show crappy B movies, and I use crappy very loosely. There's some that are great, and then there's some that are really bad. Yeah. But you're allowed to shout out like Mystery Science Theater. It's basically like what we do here for reactions, uh, except you get to do it with an entire audience of people. And yeah, I mean, getting into that side of the world, which is pretty gritty, which is very boots on the ground, try and build your movie. Yeah. But at the same time, you got to deal with the realities that there's somebody out there killing to the night stalker um but i feel like there's more to it not just the night stalker yeah i feel like they that yeah there is a killer out there but it's not the night stalker and right. i'm thinking that the killer is using that 
as a as, cover. As a cover. Or Maxine's the killer because we kind of learned from too. Pearl, you know, trauma can lead to horrific things. And maybe. We'll who knows? See. Maybe she's just a double-edged sword to it all. She's yeah. the killer, but in reality, you know, she doesn't realize it. It's like multiple personalities. I don't know. Ty West is a crazy genius. So we'll have to see what they have in store for us. The cast mm-hmm. is stacked yeah. in this movie. Kevin Bacon, Kevin Bobby Bacon. Cannavale, Giancarlo Esposito, Elizabeth Debicki, yeah. uh, Hal. Halsey? Halsey. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. But yeah, and then of course Mia Goth once yep. again as Maxine. <laughs> so I'm wondering how, I mean, we saw some remnants of a tape from the past, so I'm assuming that's going to come from the murders that ended up taking place Maybe. in the first film. Um, but who hired the private detective right. to come find her? So, uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot to it. I'm in a bit of a mystery, <laughs> but we got to watch Pearl as well. But obviously, yes. it doesn't look like we need to know anything about Pearl unless right. there's something connected with the family or right or something. But yeah, but other I, than that, I don't think it needs to be. Mm-mm. I think Pearl was her own slice of life. But I'm sure somebody in the comments will be like, "No, you have to watch Pearl," and we will 100. <laughs> percent We will. And we'll watch it on the channel eventually. But Either way, what did you think of the first trailer for Maxine? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord. All the social networking gin joints. You know where they are. Kick into the party. Fuel the party. Keep the party going on our Patreon. Check out the other reactions we have on the channel. There are plenty, but thanks so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.